Are you doubting your faith in God? Have you ever doubted your faith in God? Or do you think you're going to doubt your faith in God? In this video, we're going to be looking at life lessons we can draw out from the Bible story of Daniel and how it can apply to our everyday life when we're faced with our faith being tried and what we can do, the faith action we can put in place. I would like to welcome you all to today's video. You're welcome. Returning subscribers, you're welcome as well. New subscribers, thank you for joining us today. And let's get to what we have today. The point number one we're going to be looking at today is trial of faith. Now, it is important to know that when Daniel was being tried, his colleagues, the people that were close to him were, were responsible for the situations that um, led to the trial of his faith that led to him being thrown in the lion's den. Obviously, they've checked his record and they saw that he was clean. And they said, okay, the only thing we can do now is to make his faith come into place. Glory to God. To put him in a situation that this is the only place we think he can air because he will always choose God. So I don't know if you're in that situation that people want to use your your stand for God to think is for their own advantage to make you get into trouble or to put in a situation where they think they are winning over you. But just like Daniel in the Bible, it shall turn for your testimony in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. So his faith was being tried. His friends, uh, his colleagues put him in a situation whereby what his faith will be tried. The next point here is when men can't god can now the king here got fond of daniel it was used to him and at the end of the day he noticed he after signing the petition that no one should make any request to any god aside to the king do you understand he didn't know it was meant to get daniel into trouble but when he finally knew that was when the conspirators as it were came to him and said we found daniel praying you said no one should pray no one should make any petition of any god but daniel will find him praying now the king here felt so displayed in, in himself the bible records that throughout the evening he was looking for a way to help daniel well guess what the king couldn't there are situations we might find ourselves whereby people will think can help us and not able to but this is where we need to trust God. Glory to God. There's a Bible passage that says this, that with men it may be impossible, but not with God. For with God, what all things are what possible. When men say it's impossible, when men have fall short of solutions of way out, God is still capable. Glory to God. This is what the situation that Daniel was. The king couldn't help him, but God was able to help him. In your situation, I don't know what it may be right now. Men might have failed. The doctors might have said, okay, they can't, but God can. You might not be able to get the employment. They might have rejected you, but God is saying, comfort, I can. Whatever it is, it might be in your projects, it might be anything, your family. I'm saying that there are situations that might have ended and said, it's not possible but god is saying what i can god is telling you today what i can leading on to the next point point number three it is important to note that what daniel was fervent serving god even the king testified the king even testified and prophesied to him as it were he said daniel thy god whom thy service continually the god that you serve continually he will deliver you before he threw him into the lions then he couldn't help him but he said he left him with this word that the god you serve continually glory to god so i don't know are you i don't know how people are seeing you where you are where you're walking are you, is a stand for god obvious glory to god I, is a stand for god on shaking that is that they will say ah this situation that this person is ah it's only his god that can deliver him so that was the situation god um, daniel was the king had to say that the god whom you serve continually he will deliver you he will deliver you and you know that god does not put to shame did god deliver daniel what happened to daniel when he was thrown into the lion's den let's look at the next point taking us to the point number four divine protection and preservation when you put a trust in god faith in action proving here to the life of daniel will lead to divine protection and preservation in terms of your life you will not lose your life in the name of the lord jesus because of faith is in god your life is going to be preserved your life of a young your loved ones will be preserved in the name of the lord jesus so faith in god led to daniel's word preservation and protection it came out of the lions then on hot and i was reading the scripture I, I, I saw the part they said that the king could not sleep he woke up very early and he ran to the dan the lions and i said daniel that god whom that service continually has he been able to deliver you and daniel said oh king live that forever ah lavata see my dear whatever the, the situation is take your stand for god seriously let your yes be yes for god glory to god let people know they are standing for god don't be one leg in one leg out this was what daniel did and what daniel god will deliver him 
this god delivered him to the glory of god daniel came out on hot no scratch nothing nothing happened to him this is the testimony of them that wait on the lord the scripture said that they that wait on the lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings as eagles glory to god yours testimony shall not be denied even as you wait on god in the name of the lord jesus that shall be your testimony whatever you are trusting god for let your faith in god stand and this leads us to the last but not the least the next point divine judgment on your enemies now the bible records of how the people that plotted against daniel their families their children that before they even came they were thrown into the lion's den but the thing here is that before they even came to the lion's den as they were dropping down that their bones were crushed and scattered by the lions so it's not like the lions were not hungry when daniel was into the lion's den no there was a divine force there was a divine mystery there that this is the testimony of them that wait on god glory to god god does not leave his children without a weakness god is ever faithful so my there this is your this shall be your testimony in the name of the lord jesus and they that have plotted against you the lord is going to give them divine judgment judgment that suits them to the glory of his name in the name of the lord jesus amen god does not leave himself without a witness if you've been blessed by this video can you hit the like button god bless you if you're yet to subscribe please do so and god bless you as well i would love to hear from you has this video blessed you what have you what has the lord laid in your heart as we are listening to this video if you have a prayer point you would love us to pray with along with you kindly drop it down in the comment section we'll be glad more than ever to join faith with you and it shall turn for your testimony in the name of the lord jesus amen thank you for your time and i know that victory is yours now and forever for you and your family your loved ones in the name of the lord jesus god bless you Bye for now and see you in my next video.